Let's talk about the partnership part of the game. Okay. One thing that I do see on your social media profiles is that you're engaged with a lot of brand partnerships. Mm -hmm. And today, I think that's getting larger and larger because these big brands are focusing on UGC creators and realizing that we control the juice, Mm -hmm. right? It's not newspapers. It's not news channels. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? Like They're going straight to creators now as opposed to these large companies. So how did you get involved with, you know, the partnership game brand? And even today, like, what's your ap- approach towards it? Um, So beginning when I can, uh, as far as thinking back when I first was doing YouTube videos, mm-hmm. a lot of brands reach out and they want to gift you mm-hmm. um, in exchange for content um, earlier. What, what do you mean by that? Like no payment. Oh, <laughs> just give you free stuff. Right. Okay. You know, earlier on, that was cool. That right. was fun. You don't really know much was as far as myself. I didn't know much about negotiating yeah. terms and conditions. Um, now it's a totally different ball game. I don't want any gifts mm-hmm. unless it's a vacation. Okay. Like we can, yeah. okay, we talking yeah. different things yeah. now. Yeah. But as far as product, yeah. I do not. I I can really go without it. I have way too many products. Yeah. You know, whether it be skincare, makeup, clothes, it's just enough is enough. Right. Um. I have a lot of things. I don't need any more things. Uh. So and things don't pay the bills unless you sell them or do something else with it, yeah. which I don't do. That's extra work. Yes. So uh, as far as negotiating, I have reached out to brands Mm -hmm. and um, a majority of the time they they're reaching out to me. So whether it be through DMs or emails. What are some tips you have for negotiating? And again, I'm I'm getting I'm getting a class right now because I just started being involved with brand partnerships Mm -hmm. and they reached out to me. Uh, I need to start being on the offense and reach out to some. But they reached out to me and they'll say, hey. You know, we would love for, you know, this to be in one of the episodes. Mm-hmm. Here's, you know, what's your budget or here's our budget. Mm-hmm. And then me, since it was, especially my first one, I just bit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I was like, okay, bet. Let's do it. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm, I'm We've hyped. all been there. Yeah, like I'm hyped. So, okay, bet. Let's do it. I'm not going to say how much it was, but it wasn't a right. whole lot. But right. I'm on my third now and I have noticed it's increased mm-hmm. each time. But Each of those three times, I've never negotiated. I kind of just took it. I want to get better with my negotiating game as far as brand partnerships. Mm -hmm. So what are just some, what's some advice that you have just like (laughs) with negotiating and, you know, kind of stepping on your worth? Yes. So one, knowing what you bring, knowing what you bring, whether it is a podcast, whether it's you know, creating content mm-hmm. or creating content that you post or UGC creator content, whether you're providing it to them mm-hmm. and you never post it. Yeah. Um, knowing what your face and your likeliness brings is number one. If you don't understand your analytics, if there's a person that's just starting out and they've had tremendous success early on, mm-hmm. understand your analytics. That is the number one thing. Um, there are so many different websites and platforms that allow you to put in your social media handles Mm -hmm. and can give you a range on the low end, the medium and high end of what creators that have these numbers Mm -hmm. and algorithm um, charge. Really? Yes. What's the name of one? So one that I have been using from the very beginning is Social Blue Book. Okay. They have changed to where they are more on a subscription base now. They Inflation were not like is all that. Over. Listen, I'm like, geez, this is a website all providing over. information, yeah. but yeah. I get it. Yeah. Um. So that platform is really good. That is only that is really the only one that I have been familiar with over all this time of mm-hmm. you know platforms changing numbers yeah. increasing maybe staying stagnant that is what i use mm-hmm. um and once i have that i kind of go from there um ai is our best friend yeah. so i use a lot of ai when it comes to formulating emails um wording emails you want to come across as a professional right um also creating a media kit which is really easy. I can plug my ebook in. Please do. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
So I do have an ebook that's available for content creators or aspiring content creators, social media influencers, um, UGC creators, whatever niche you want to go into. Mm-hmm. And it provides so much information, some of the information that I'm sharing here, and mm-hmm. I'm so happy to be able to share it on your platform. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, thank you for sharing um, it. I absolutely. Because I know this is just the tip of the iceberg, but I've like you know learned a lot this past 30 minutes, so I appreciate it. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. And um, so uh, within my ebook, I do have so many templates of one, the cover page that some businesses may be looking for the media kit where you can plug in your pictures, your rates, your contact information, as well as a template for those creators that have no clue how to write up an email. And it doesn't matter what your category or genre of content is, whether it's gaming, beauty, travel, foodie, um, tech, it has a template for every person. Um, So... What is a media kit exactly? So it provides your face or Mm -hmm. your brand's face. Um, It also gives a brief summary of the content that you create Mm -hmm. or your brand is creating. Um, Also, a few pictures, just a a little bit of your analytics. Uh, Is your content more male audience, female audience? Is it pretty equal? Um, how is your engagement or how many unique visitors do you typically have in a month or in a week or, you know, whatever time frame yeah. brands that that's something that brands want to know. Companies want to know that yeah. um, they will do a little bit of research. Some brands do. Some mm-hmm. brands do do a little research and then they'll reach out to you. That yeah. way, you know, they know that you and the brand align. OK, Um but yeah, it just gives. I don't ever put price points on my media kit because mm-hmm. that can change. Yeah. So I yeah. always just put if you want photos, video content, or maybe you want a package deal. You want to. We want to create some. Create something together. We need to mm-hmm. negotiate. I always have to negotiate up there. Okay. Provide my email, phone number. That's all they need. Wow. And. All of this plus more info is found in your ebook. The ebook's out now. Yes. Where can it be found it at? It is. So you can go to my Instagram, Glam by Leah Lee mm-hmm. or Leah Lee, and it is in my bio. And it says it right there. You can click on the little direct me, mm-hmm. and it's the first link. It says the Social Media 2024 ebook. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn, I done learned about two years worth of. <sighs> knowledge just now this past 30 minutes you're doing the damn thing lily thank you thank you i really appreciate it